midway through the Sundance Film Festival 2016. We are at the Eccles Center and checking out the film Little Men. We're here on the red carpet. We'll be talking with some of the actors as well as the director. When I read the script, I loved the fact that it was, it was such, a, it was an examination of things that happen between people that, from the outside, seem very small and unimportant, but to the people themselves are life-changing and have um, a lot of reverberation. So, working on that story um, with this group of people and with Ira Sachs was wonderful. But I think a lot of what the movie is saying is that life is unavoidably messy and that relationships between people are unavoidably messy. Um, well, I'm from New York City. This is my first film, actually. I've never done anything like this before. Um, so hopefully it will lead to bigger things. I'm really excited to see the film. So, well, my character's name's Tony, and it was a lot easy for myself to rep uh, relate to him because it's almost like me. Uh, I got a kid growing up in, in New York, Brooklyn. He has uh, a mom, uh, his dad. Uh, and then to actually my goal to be an actor and to actually be in the Audio High School for Performing Arts, which is so easy to relate because that's what I want to do. I'm in eighth grade, I audition for LaGuardia. It's my goal to be into that school. And so just to have my character do want to do that, it was so easy to relate to and it was phenomenal. Uh, Jake is more of a, a quiet, artistic character. Uh, and I myself am a little bit more of a quiet character. Um, uh, he's, he's very... Um, He's not very sure of himself quite yet, and he sees all these people around him that are very sure, like know what he's going, know what they're going to do. Like he's going to be an actor when he grows up. Uh, and people ask me, "Are you going to be an artist when you grow up?" I don't know. I'm still figuring everything out. So I think that's still what I'm trying to do, figuring everything out. Uh, well, really happy for Ira, who uh, has been here a few times with a few other films. I saw Love Is Strange uh, last year, and as did many others, and flipped over it and. A lot of his films have always uh, tapped into something very unique and very special. They're, they're small stories that resonate in a big way, and I felt like um, uh, I know he's a fantastic filmmaker and uh, was just happy to be a part of this. He assembled a wonderful cast and, and tells a story that uh, has themes in it that are very relevant today about relocation and, uh, you know, people being... Uh, uh, moved about and money and, and a, a lot of complex issues and he tells it in a very lovely way. With all the characters you've played now, have you finally come to a place where you know who you are both as an actor and even as a person too? Has it kind of come all the way around for you? Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, I guess, you, you, yeah, there's, there's some better understanding a little bit, uh, as, as, maybe as you go along, but the great thing, of course, is always discovery, you know, it's always, I think that's what keeps everybody in the in this racket, is that, uh, you know, you, you, you periodically uh, uh, get a chance to do something that is uh, is different and resonates and, and is, is feels new, and um, that's always the joy of it. Well, it's interesting. Young people, old people, professional actors, non-professional actors. For me, I try to work with them all very similar, which is I try to allow them to be as much of themselves as possible. I don't rehearse in advance, whether that be a trained actor or, or a young kid. Uh, we really work with the material on the day of the shoot, and um, you just try to cast really well. That's really so much part of making the movie.